What's up guys, Gareth here and today I'm bringing you a Washer Gareth commentary, we're going to be playing Cranked on Warhawk and I got this gameplay while I was playing Clan Wars, so I was in a full party and I'm very happy with the clan I'm currently in. It's uh, the same clan that I've been talking about for a few videos in a row, and I'm currently on like a 105 win streak, and I think 80 of those wins were during a clan war, and the other 25 were like just me playing on my own. I've started playing free for all, which is quite good because it's really good for your KD, and it's also really really good for winning because if you come in second or third, it counts as a loss, but your win streak stays. Even though you have lost, your win streak can still stay, and that's why I've managed to get like a hundred something win streak. Other than that, I've just been playing cranked, which is just my favorite game mode because because uh, it's so good. If you can chain your kills together, it counts as double points, and it's just great. It's one of the reasons I prefer Ghosts over every other card. In this gameplay, I'm using the Ripper. This is my first gameplay, I think, using the Ripper that I've uploaded. Thoughts on the gun? It's quite good. I did watch a Drifter video before the gun came out on PlayStation. He said that the rapid fire didn't affect the SMG version of the gun, so I tried that out for myself. It turns out that was, uh, I'm not gonna say a lie, but it's not true. So, uh, he didn't get his facts right. The SMG is affected by rapid fire, so yeah, it is actually really, really good. My recommended class would be silencer rapid fire. If not silencer, then uh, go with rapid fire grip or rapid fire muzzle break. Anything with rapid fire and this gun's just a beast. Even in, uh, even in assault rifle mode, it's quite good. And the difference between assault rifle and SMG is the fire rate and the range. There's no damage difference unless you count range as damage, although technically range and damage are two separate things, the range and the rate of fire is the only two things that change, and of course the optics. I have changed two things recently on my YouTube channel. The first one is the thumbnails. The reason I changed this was I felt like the old ones are kind of bland, they were just like a plain colour, maybe just like a bit of black in the corners and then just text. I felt like that was kind of boring and uh, like I heard recently in a YouTube dude video, he said that thumbnails was basically your packaging for your video so I thought do you know what I need to get a new thumbnail style and then I watched Drifter's video on like a tutorial of how to get like good thumbnails and different types of thumbnails that people use that are quite good and I decided to go with the gun thumbnail so what I do is I go into a private match use the same gun the same camo go to a prominent part of the map and take a screenshot in the highest quality possible and then I go into Photoshop and I blur out the background keep the gun in focus but blur out the background and then put bold text around it and I think that actually looks really nice and I want to I want your opinions on my new thumbnail style what do you think of it do you prefer it to the old thumbnail style? Let me know. And another thing that I changed was I completely got rid of my outro. The main reason for this was that I went into my analytics and I checked and it turned out that not many people were actually clicking on the outro links. So I decided just to get rid of it. It was like 30 seconds at the end of the video and if I get rid of the, those 30 seconds, rendering and uploading is quicker and of course if, a, if the video is, is shorter, more people are likely to click on it. So uh, I decided to completely get rid of the outro and I don't think many people are actually missing it. So this was the short commentary. 12 and free with a 4kd i hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and goodbye